I just wanted one fight, really. I started off as a one 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 fight, but then it got so point where I got addicted to it, man. And um, I was winning, man. You know, I was winning fights left and right. So I thought I can give a shot going to see what happened. How much? How far I go? I think it was crazy. <laughs> but that's what he wants. Yeah. I just let him do. I just don't want him to be aware that if you get a chance, yeah. just let him do it. Yeah, now I thought, when he get older, he'll be like, yeah, yeah. you didn't let me do this now. Yeah, exactly. Regret the same thing. You don't want to, you know, live with the rest of your life, man. You know what I mean? So, I guess it's sign a dollar line. Whatever you choose. Yeah, he chooses. That was it. it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes like, one morning I wake up about 6.30. Uh, me and my wife will get our kids ready to go to school. Two of them are either in kindergarten or, 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 or sixth grade. The other two is like, kind of like slash daycare. But it's, you know, they, they teach him stuff like that, you know, so it's pretty good daycare. Um, and after that, I'll go either one for a run or two, you know, where I'll come back, eat breakfast, get ready. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and morning strength conditioning, so I don't run because by the time I get into strength conditioning, it's vicious, man. Like, the coach is crazy. After that, you know, take a nap or, or do whatever they need to do, whatever little errands that need to be fixed, whatever, I'll, I'll fix it. Four o'clock, new, new crew comes in. Um, I'll, 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 I'll cash them out, I'll have another crew come in. And after that, I'll go straight to Metro. Uh, for Monday, Wednesday night, it's just hard sparring. Like. The conditions in there, it's, it's, it's real rough, you know what I mean? It, it's basically a metal warehouse. There's no insulation, there's no AC, it's no fan whatsoever. It's hot. During the summertime, it gets over 100 degrees. So you got to be well uh, 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 hydrated, you know what I mean? Because when you go in there, it's, it's on, man. You can't have an off, uh, an off day because there's guys in there that are real good. I mean, we try to test each other every day. Um, so after that, one, I, if I have enough time, I'll go for a jog or two. I'll go for some swim, some slap, some lap. And after that, i got to come back and shut the business down, count the money, make sure everything's correct. Tuesday and Thursday, same deal. Um, I'll do jujitsu like today. Well, I'll go to Metro again and, and do some some uh, bag work. At nighttime, I got to be back in Metro. Like almost every night, I got to be from Monday through Thursday. I, I got to go to Metro because flight camp, I got to be there. All the stuff he wants to do, I got to be there. I got to be familiar with his system. Friday, catch a Friday, and morning I'll go to Dracolinos for no eat. Friday nights I'll go to West Coast for wrestling. Saturday morning I'll take my son over there for the little kids at 9 a.m. After that I'll do some some gi, uh, our, our gi competition, whatever, 11 o'clock, 11.30 I believe. I think it was Saturday, we rolled it Saturday, I believe. I think, yeah. Just like I said, I'm always busy, man. I'm always, always busy. And even on Sunday on my day off, um, Julia Sunday reserve for my family. We go out eating and stuff like that. But before I do that, um, I gotta make a get a run, good three mile in, or run some hills, and then I'll go to the old mat. We did old mat this Sunday. Then after that, I shower up and go eat and come back to business and run the business. So it, 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 yeah, I gotta feel plate, man. You know? When you're in a fight in the cage, man, there's thousands of people yelling stupid stuff like hammer fists and stupid stuff, instructions. They don't know what the hell's going on. They just wanna knock somebody out, kill somebody. You know what I mean? You hear voice all over, but if you train well enough, all you can hear is basically your coach. Instructions he give you basically drown everybody out. You can hear what he tells you, and then all my fight, you know, most of my women come because I listen to what he tells you. Get that jab out there. You got the reach, man. You need to use it. Die. My second or third fight, I think he told me, hey, man, the first one that came out, I was taking him down, I, 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 I will. My second round, he said, look, man, he, he's going to look for you to take down. Just, just fake a shot and, and strong overhand right. And I did it. Boom, I dropped the guy and I beat that. Well, I was working a job where it's basically I wouldn't, I didn't like, I didn't like where it's going, and I, I think all, I, I'm an entrepreneur by but you know, by heart. I mean, I, I don't like working for other people, man. You know what I mean? So um, I just left, and then I had one of those catering trucks. You know, you know those concession trucks. Back in the days, man, it wasn't cool to have that. Nowadays, everybody's got like a, a food truck. It's a cool thing to have a food truck. Back then, I did it because that's a necessity, you know. Um, I didn't have the capital to, to open something like this up, you know, and plus it's risky, man. You open something like this, you have enough, you have to have enough cash to, to stay open for, you know, at least two years, you know what I mean? Because you're not going to build a customer base the first year or two years, you know what I mean? You, you, you have to bring them in. But because I have trailers, my rent was low and, and I had, had room where I can make mistakes, you know what I mean? 
so I was learning as I was I was in a, in a trailer, but I was cooking the seafood, and I was uh, fried seafood, fresh seafood. Then about second, third year, I started doing boil coffee. Oh, that thing was hit, man. It, 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 it did good. And my fourth year, I just saw myself doing well. So I said, you know what, man? I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna jump in here and then and, 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 uh, over the restaurant. Okay, let's not close all the way because I, I kind of filled up kind of high. Okay, so just kind of. Ladies, you're not going to be boys. We start when I start off in this business. I was working a trailer, right? She's working in Austin's office. We had one. Uh, we had one, a baby daughter. She was barely born, like three months, you know. Um, she was back to work, and I was working a trailer, man. And she had, you know, we had medical and everything, but I was like, man, I, I have to make it, man, because if I don't make it, I'm, I'm screwed. So I worked my butt off, man. You know, thank the Lord that it worked out, man. When you're a trailer, um, man, you have true room. You can, you can, you can learn as you go. But once you, once you open restaurants, you're up, you don't have, you can't make mistakes. Bro. I have a full-time job in the family. I have babies, you know. I have babies. So I trained where I could, and you know, I didn't get serious about three years ago. What I learned from my last fight. Just that, uh, man, like, when I was on top, which is most of the whole entire fight, the guy was hanging on to me, man. Um, it was boring, though. That's the only thing. I should have been, you know, I should have just got, got taller, put my knees in, 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 in hammer fist and hammer fists and then, uh, you know, have more strikes. I was out grappling, out, out wrestling, but the thing was just hanging on to me. And, uh, like, I, I was laying on top. I shouldn't be doing that. I should, next time, I need to posture up and just start dropping down punches. Now we're going pro, so I mean I can use elbow. So if he hangs on to me, he's going to need some elbow. Yeah. Sit up on the face. Yeah. Kick out, kick out. Good game, Matt. You get another takedown. Let's go. Uh, David Acosta. What do you think about him? Solid fighter, all around. Uh, he's uh, he only had one loss like I did. He's a uh, 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 legacy amateur champion at 125. I'm a 35 champion. Uh, he's got one pro fight. So he won by the Kimura. He's a pretty good at submi uh, submission artist. Uh, he's got he's a pro belt. Um, under Makako too. We used to train together about a year. Like when we first started a long time ago, we we started out in the airport. But he stayed there. When I split off, I went to. Um, uh, I went back to Metro, and then uh, I started doing jujitsu recently, like a year, year and a half ago with Drax, and now I'm, I'm with West Chase. I'm still, you know, Gracie Baja affiliated, you know. I made a good choice coming up with Gracie Baja, man. It's probably the best jujitsu team around there. I heard recently he started doing wrestling too, but he's playing catch up. There's no way he's gonna catch up my level of wrestling, man. I've been working with Bob for like last six months now. Like a year, year and a half ago when I was working with him, I was out wrestling. And this is way before I even worked with Bob So now I'm even better, man. So whatever he's doing doesn't matter, man. He's, you know, whatever, you know. He's not gonna stop me. I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna take him down and I'm gonna pound his ass out. You know, he's gonna try to sell me, but of all the people I roll with, Gracie Baja, there's no way he's gonna man. There's no way he's gonna out, out, out get to me, man. You know what I mean? I deal with brown like today, with nothing but brown belts, purple belts, and then like two, three black belts, man. Come on, man. He's not gonna have that luxury that I have. You know what I mean? I'm getting murdered out there, but at the same time, if I can hang with him so long, that, that he can't do nothing to me. Man. And he's not gonna do anything I haven't seen before. That's all another word, you know. It's a business. Getting paid to do it. No disrespect, nothing wrong, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to do my job, I'm going to come here and beat his ass, you know what I mean, that's, that's, that's it, and there's no love when he gets stuck in my cage, man. It's, it's, you can't describe it, man, you know, it's a high, brother, you know, you get in that win, they raise your hand, you work your butt off, and you beat somebody's ass, I mean, you, you, you can't explain it, man, unless you've done it, you know, you wouldn't understand it.